Okay, so you now understand that the beliefs you hold in the map of your world are responsible for your social anxiety. And that you respond with emotions to the way you interpret the external world via your unique map. And that once you change your beliefs, your map of the world changes. And as a result, you interpret situations differently and you respond with different emotions to those situations. In fact, by changing your beliefs, you change your social anxiety program to a social confidence program. The way you feel in social situations is dependent on the beliefs you hold in your map of the world. It's all in your beliefs. So what exactly is a belief? A belief is nothing more than a thought that you feel to be true because you have evidence of it. The beliefs you have basically serve as lenses. It's like lenses through which you interpret the world around you and then you have feelings and emotions about that interpretation. Now this often goes in a split second out of conscious awareness, but let me give you an example of how this process works. A guy named Joe is sitting in a cafe, and behind Joe some people are laughing. Joe feels anxious in this situation, and this is because of the beliefs that he has in his map of the world, one of them being, people are mean and out to get me. Now this is a belief Joe has proof of because earlier in life he experienced people bullying him and as a result he felt humiliated, embarrassed, uh, sad and uncomfortable. Now as a result of this bullying, Joe's subconscious mind took on the belief that people are mean and out to get him. It was true to him at the time, so his subconscious mind learned that to be the way things are and took on that belief in order to protect him from experiencing that again in the future. As a result of Joe taking on this belief and the brain generalizing incoming information, Joe is now sitting in this cafe and he's hearing the laughter around him and he's now filtering that through the lens that people are mean and out to get him and as a result Joe feels anxious. His subconscious mind thinks that he's in danger and gives him the anxiety response as a warning. Careful, you know, they might bully you. Now when these people start to laugh even harder and point in his direction, Joe's generalizing subconscious mind perceives this situation to be similar to the one where he was bullied and as a result he feels all those old feelings again, the humiliation, the uncomfortableness, everything. Joe's mind just thinks they're laughing at him. Well, in fact, they're just some people having fun. It's all in your beliefs. The beliefs you hold in your model of the world determine how you interpret things that are going on around you. And then you have feelings and emotions about that interpretation. Now, if the beliefs about yourself, others, and the world around you give you social anxiety, then we use some very powerful tools to change these beliefs from negative beliefs to positive and supportive beliefs. This results in you changing your map of the world. You seeing the world and your place in it in such a way that you feel comfortable where you formerly felt anxious. Now in the fourth video we dive into why it is that you believe what you believe subconsciously, why you have those beliefs and what structure we use to change that. Until then, bye.